Hello. Hello, buenas noches. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I Fancy. can see it in your eyes. Remember that song, Lionel Richie? El romántico. <laughs> no, that's how you guys. Hello. Is it me? That's Lionel Richie, no? Sí. Yeah, Hi, class. Wow, everybody's connecting now. Good. Let me see. We have 17 people. We need 10 more because it's a big class. All right. Thank you for everyone who, who has a camera. Maria Caroline, I'm sorry, Maria Elena, someday, someday I will see your face and camera. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Yancy? Very good. No sé cómo se dice acabo. I just. I just uh, did take my dinner. Uh, I just ate. Ate. Okay. I just ate my dinner. Oh, good. What okay. did you eat? Um, pizza. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, yes. good. You ate pizza. All right. Yes. Everyone, everyone. Hello, Norma Marbelli. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine. Good. Good. Hi, Adriana. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Adriana, I have a question for you. Tell me. <clears throat> In, uh, Alisa, right? Yes. Do you guys have a table? Una mesa comedor? <clears throat> yes, in Santa Tecla. Oh, really? Are you really? in Santa Tecla? No, uh, I am in Plaza Soyapan. Yeah, you're, but but you can check in your computer if there's one in Santa Tecla. I know that in Santa Tecla, they have a comedor. Okay, good. It's dining table. They have a diner table. Okay, maybe you can, uh, but later tomorrow, maybe you can contact me and show me because... um. Eh, si me puede mandar el, el, un contacto o, o algo my brother tuve visita en esta semana y mi hermano llegó un día como con tres litros de tequila <laughs> yes and um, es muy bruto me quebró dos días de mi comedor es que we were laughing ah, ay, boom Una, like, oh my God. Y como, y nos dio risa, right? Ah, la quebraste bruto. Pero cuando ya quebró la segunda, ya no me dio risa. <laughs> Entonces, ni modo. Yeah. Eh, son de madera, o sea, sí se quebraron. Like. You need to. <clears throat> no, no, I, I need the complete. Hoy ni modo, the complete set. El complete set. Yes, thank you. Okay, man, it's hot. It's hot today. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Let's... Let me pull up the... No, no, Tu doctor te la da todavía. No es bueno. Son muy adictosas. 
¿Puedes hacerte adicto? ¿Y has hecho ejercicios para más? No. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you. Um, let me share the... Let me share the screen with you. People, things people have to do. Yes, have to do. For example, I have to. Tener algo. Tengo que. Tener que. I have to hacer to take a test. For example, Diana. Usted vive con sus padres, ¿no? Yes. I imagine you have to do something in your house. ¿Qué tiene que hacer en su casa? ¿Qué cree? No, no le escuché bien. In your house, what do you have to do? I have cleaned my house, my bedroom. <laughs> okay, I have to clean my bedroom. I have to clean my house. Good. Yes, good. I have to. Tengo que. That is have to, okay? Let me see. Let's listen to the video. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, let me check. Okay, do you see this? I hate to the verb and the complement. Yeah. Yes. This is an expression I hate. I hate. Hey, ¿dónde me salió estas líneas? Okay. So we say the complement I hate to, for example, me. They say, I hate to iron clothes. Okay. 
Planchar ropa. Odio planchar ropa. Tengo que planchar la ropa. Yes. No. Eh, I hate, hate es odio. I hate odio to, planchar. odio planchar la ropa. Pero en, en, en español es más la expresión detesto. Ah, detesto planchar. Es una expresión, ¿verdad? En inglés no se no usamos detesto, decimos odiar. Odio planchar la ropa. Así como lo decía Gruñón en los pitufitos. Yes. I hate to drive. I hate to drive in traffic. Yes. La pregunta es, what do you What do you hate to Let me see. Wendy. Hi. Hello, Wendy. Wendy, what do yeah. you hate to eat? I hate to eat uh, seafood. Really? Yes. Seafood, no mariscos. Ooh. Good. Um, Ana Maria Mendoza, what do you hate to drink? I hate drink coffee. Are you serious? You don't like coffee? Oh my God. No, no, no. Coffee is good. No, okay. No, it's okay. So, oh, simplemente podemos preguntar, what do you hate? Yes, example. Nancy. Nancy Milagro. Nancy Milagro, what do you hate? What do you hate? Okay. I hate to eat pacaya. Okay, good. I hate to eat pacaya. Very good. Okay, Nancy. Um, pregunta a alguien. What do you hate? Okay. Eh, a ver, me sale el nombre. What do you hate? Sandra Patricia. What do you hate? Very good. Thank you. Uh, I hate uh, drink uh, beer. <laughs> okay, good. No, it's okay. Good. You hate to drink beer. Okay, good. Sandra, ask somebody, please. Um, Diana, what do you hate? I, how do you hate exercise? You hate to exercise? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, ask, ask somebody, please. Wendy Arely, what do you hate? I hate wash the no sé cómo es cacerolas. <laughs> you hate to wash, okay. Wash. That's true, that's true. Y también podemos hacer algo no solo negativos, que es lo que detestan. Hoy podemos decir, what do you love? 
For example, I love to eat hamburgers. Do you like hamburgers? Yes. Yes. Yeah. My favorite hamburger is the Big Mac. Last time I was very small, but it's, I love the Big Mac. And the hamburgers in Denny's. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Um, Olivia, what do you love? I'm sorry, Olivia, are you married? Yes. Do you do I you have married. do you have children? Yes. What do you love to do with your family? No. Um no entendí teacher. Que okay. amo de mi familia. Oh, que ama hacer. What do you love to do? Um Jugar con mi hijo. Okay, I love to play. I love to play with my son. son. Excellent. Very good. I love to play with my son. Uh, let me see, let me see. Who has not participated today? Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, there's your son. Hi. <laughs> there's your son. Um, good. Ana Maria. Yes, yes, we see. Le va a comprar el juguete que nos dijo. Ana Maria. Hello, Ana Maria. Hi. What do you love to do with your mother? I love to eat dinner. Excuse me? I love to eat dinner with mother. With my mother, very good. I love to watch Barcelona with my mother, El Barça. My mother loves El Barça, so I love to watch Barça with my mother. Le gusta el fútbol. Excellent. Yes, le gusta, yes. She was a big, big fan. Ella sí sabe de fútbol. Yes. Así es. Yes. <laughs> es que los papás de ella, mis abuelos eran catalanes. Entonces, Barça. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, good. And and I love to watch. Bueno, mi mamá ya pasó, murió, pero si estuviera viva diría, yo amo ver los partidos con mi mamá. I love to watch Barça games with my mother. Okay, next. Preguntas, I hate to, I love to. I hate to, I love to. Okay? Okay, good job. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, in San Miguel, people love to eat pupusas with mayonnaise curtido. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. Yeah. It's salsa negra. It's salsa negra. Hey, but it's good. I like it. Con mayonesa. <laughs> yes. Y salsa dulce. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. I love to put lemon In my soup. Yo, yes. igual yo todas las sopas le yeah. <laughs> Todas, every soup, lemon. Yeah. A, hasta las cremas le pongo que supuestamente es malo, dice. A la crema de marisco. No, deja como las de brócoli y todo, se les pongo. Uf. So I love to put lemon. Um, I love to drink coffee. All right, good. Let me see. What is next? Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I hoy ya no me gusta, antes me encantaba, pero ya no. I hate I hate to wash my car. Detesto oh, lavar mi carro. Man, so cool. Cool. Because it's like, imagine, lavarlo, aspirarlo, eh, <laughs> pulirlo y todo. Man, like, dos, tres horas. Y un car wash me lo hacen por cinco dólares. Like, <laughs> so I love to pay. <laughs> Me encanta pagar que me lo hagan. No. Cuando lo compré, sí. Me encantaba lavarlo porque era mi baby. Like, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, ya no. Mm -hmm. I love to. All right, let me see. Let's see what's next. Simple past. We're going to learn simple past today, look. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular well, oír, Addition, yes. you'll practice yes. conversation, which illustrates yes. how the topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. 
I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and co-workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. <laughs> okay, look. Okay, you see simple past? Yes, teacher. Okay, so look. Do you remember what? Yeah. 
Guess what? Okay. So let's look. Okay. What did you Hold on. Okay, what did you What did you eat yesterday? What did he say? ¿Qué comiste ayer? Okay, uh, ojo, si ustedes ven eat, está en verbo en forma simple. Uh oh. Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Y está en forma simple, ¿no? Ahora. Acompañado por el did. Yes, exactly. En la respuesta sería. I ate pizza yesterday. Entonces se usa. I, el verbo en pasado, el pasado de eat es ate. Y el complement es pizza yesterday. Ok. 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 No escriban nada aún, solo quiero. Um, hold on, let me see. Profe, en el chat, buenas noches. Yo tengo ese spin y tengo esa duda. Yo escribí, I, I, I had to seek, odio enfermar. Pero al agregar el B es, es estar diciendo odio estar enfermo. Sí, porque cuando no dice I hate to. Es que... la acción de que me odio enfermarme. No estoy afirmando que estoy enfermo. Entonces I hate to get sick. Oh. Pero siempre tiene que ir un verbo. Okay. Puede escribírmelo ahí en el chat para yo. Por okay.
Y le creo porque ahí está con gorro. Me pegó el COVID. Y estoy oh, en Cerrona. No. Híjole, oh no. Pero está bien, no, no, no le ha agarrado fue feo aún. No, no me agarró feo. Pero okay. toda la vacación la he disfrutado en la cama. <risa> <risa> Mini vacation. Ok, miren, aquí hay cuatro. Ok, I went. ¿Qué es I went? El, went el pasado de. De ir. Buy es el, el, bought es el pasado de comprar. De comprar. Drank is the past of tomar. Drink. Watched is the past of watch. Ok, good. Ahí hay cuatro respuestas, ¿ya? ¿Me pueden escribir la pregunta? Si esas son las respuestas, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? Eh, vamos a ver. Tómense unos, unos cuantos minutos para hacer. Son cuatro preguntas que van a hacer. No se ayuden, porque eso es lo que quiero ver. Si se equivocan, quiero ver qué es lo que no entienden. Entonces no vayan a ayudarse. Tomen su tiempo, ¿ok? Ya vuelvo con ustedes. O sea, escriban la pregunta. Ahí está la respuesta. Esto va a estar un poco más difícil porque yo sé que ustedes están acostumbrados, todo el mundo, a leer la pregunta y hacer la respuesta. Pero hoy van a hacer la... la, la la respuesta ya la tienen, oigan la pregunta. ¿Ok? En el chat. En sus notas, como sea, porque cuando regrese, les voy a preguntar qué fue lo que... Ah, me lo van a poner en el chat. ¿Cuál fue su pregunta? Pero ahorita no pongan nada en el chat, pónganlo en su cuaderno. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, nice.
Porfa, no, no estén mandando la, las preguntas. La, la, aún no. Thank you. Thank you, but no. <laughs> Ya terminaron. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Sí. Wow. Okay, let's start with, let me see, Juana Patricia Mendoza. Yes, teacher. Hi, Juana. Okay, en el chat me va a poner la pregunta. La respuesta es, I went to Los Planes on Sunday. What is the question? Le escribo? Mm -hmm. Um, no sé si será este. Okay, vamos a ver. What did you go on Sunday? Guess what? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Juana, guess what? ¿Qué? Entonces, ¿qué me puso ahí? What did you go on Sunday? ¿Qué me puso? Yo creo que eso no lo he enviado ahí. Ah, permíteme. No, I'm sorry. Ah, no, pero. I didn't go to planets on Sunday. No, no, I, bueno, eh, está bien la, la respuesta esa, pero ahí estaba la respuesta. I went to los planets on Sunday. Si esa mm -hmm. es la respuesta, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Eh, sería, did I go to los planets the Sunday? What is the question? No es esta la respuesta, la pregunta. I didn't go to los planes on Sunday. Aquí se, así se pone la pregunta, mire. What? Paso uno es what, when, where. Ah, uh, what? you, the verb, and the complement. ¿Qué significa what? ¿Qué? When. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Where. ¿Dónde? Vaya, ahí, ahí está la pista. O sea, aquí dice, I went to los planes on Sunday. Bueno, incluso creo que hay dos posibles preguntas se pueden sacar. Deme una. What did... Escríbalo, escríbalo en el chat. teacher when did I go to los planes on Sunday yeah, ok por favor nadie escriba en el chat ahorita please eh, alguien 
When did I go to Los Planes on Sunday? ¿Qué me puso ahí? Eh, ¿Cuándo irás a Los Planes? No, ahí puso cuando yo fui a Los Planes el ah, domingo. Cuando, el domingo. Entonces, si sí, mire, si yo le digo, yo fui a Los Planes el domingo, I went to Los Planes on Sunday, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? When did you go to Los Planes? Mm -hmm. Así de simple. ¿Cuándo fuiste a Los Planes? When... Porque cuando, right? When did you go to Los Planes? I went to Los Planes on Sunday. Yes. Hay otra posible pregunta que no es con when. ¿Alguien tiene otra? Yo tengo where did you go on Sunday? Excellent, también. ¿A dónde fuiste el domingo? Where did you go on Sunday? So then there's two possibles, when and where. Very good. All right. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now let me see a gentleman, Jorge Antonio. Yes, teacher. Okay, aquí dice, I bought my shoes in Multiplaza. Puede escribir la pregunta en el chat. Where did you buy your shoes? Is that correct? Alguien tiene esto? Where did you buy your shoes? Yes. Very yes. good. Alguien tiene algo diferente? What did yeah. you buy? What did you buy in Multiplaza? Eh, también se puede. ¿Qué compraste en Multiplaza? I bought my shoes in Multiplaza. O oh, Where did you buy your shoes? ¿A dónde compraste tus zapatos? Pero ya ven que no cambia nada. Solo tienen que saber bien qué es el what, el when y el where. Very good. All right. Let me see. Gabriela, hi. Hi. Gabriela María, it says here, I drank... A cup of coffee. What did you drink? Very good. What did you drink? I drank a cup of coffee. Yes? Yes. Very good. I can tell you different. What did you drink? No. Okay. No. Y la última, I watched Rocky Five. What do you watch? What did you watch? Okay, what did you watch? Oh, I watched Rocky Five. What movie did you watch? Very good. I mean, what movie did you watch? I watched Rocky Five. Muy bien, se dieron cuenta de que cambió mucho la las preguntas, pero siempre iban el mismo, la misma, la misma fórmula. O sea, es what, when, where, did you, the verb, and the complement. Echaron una duda. ¿Por qué yes. en la primera, I went to, este to, los planes de rendero? ¿Por, ¿Por qué el to? Porque el verbo go siempre va a llevar to. 
Buena pregunta. Igual español. Yo fui a. I went okay. to. No, very good question. Thank you. Okay. I went to los planes de renderos. I went to Mercadito Merliot. I went to Miami. Sánchez okay. Serén Thank went you. to Nicaragua. Nicaragua. <laughs> Pobrecito. Perseguido político. He went to Nicaragua. Yes. <laughs> Rodolfo Parker went to Germany, ¿no? Germany, yes. En Cristiani, ¿verdad que también Cristiani? Costa, yes, Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. <laughs> oh my God. Only in El Salvador. Ok, so, um, así se practica el futuro, el pasado simple. What did you, for example, let me see. Um, ma, 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 ma. Adriana. What did, what did you eat for lunch today? I'm not sure, but I eat. I ate. I ate enchiladas for lunch. After for lunch, lunch uh, today, um, I ate a hamburger for lunch today. No, pero quería me lo completo. For lunch today. <clears throat> for lunch today. Very good. I no, ate I, I, hamburger. No, no, I, Okay, I ate a hamburger for lunch today. I ate a hamburger for lunch today. Excellent, nice, thank you. Wendy, what did you eat for dinner today? I ate pupusas for dinner today. Very good. Jacqueline, what did you eat in the beach? I eat eight. fish. Eight. I ate fish. In the beach. Yes, yes. I ate, I ate fish in the beach. Excellent. Very good, very good today, people. Let me see, Sandra Patricia. Hello. Hi. When did you eat sopa de pata? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, imagine. Oh, oh invent us. I said, but listen. Uh, when? When I, did you eat sopa de pata? I. In. Mercal. <laughs> No, necesito que me conteste en forma completa. I, I ate, I ate um, sopa, sopa de patas in, so, in el mercado. Mercado. Very good. Lo único que no está oyendo bien mi pregunta. Porque I said, when, no where. When. I said, when uh, did when. you eat sopa de pata? I ate so pata in Monday. On Monday, excellent, good. Mm -hmm. Es Sunday, dicen que el domingo es el día de la sopa de pata. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good, okay, good. Si, si necesito bien que de verdad sepan que es la diferencia de what, when y where. Mm -hmm. Okay, porque Faltan como seis más. Está what time, who, why, how much, how many. Pero yo sé que mucha gente tiene que confundirse con when y where. Y es totalmente diferente. La when es cuando, where es donde. Lugar y tiempo. Yes. Ok. Ok. Entonces, ¿se acuerdan que les di la fórmula del el futuro simple? ¿Cómo hacer la pregunta y respuesta? Y aquí está cómo hacerlo en pasado simple. Ok. 
Okay, then. Thank you very much. Okay, I I see you. I, I am going to see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. 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 <risa> Bye. Teacher, meta los, meta los 20 gatos que nos contó la vez pasada. Sí, de verdad. Yo... Oh my God. Ok. Bye, class. Bye. 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 Bye.